So I have uh, I have more disclaimers to go through before I start the video. One, this video is the second part of a series of three videos. Yes, it's a trilogy now. I recommend you watch the first part before this. Link is in the description. Two, don't take this video personally, and please don't send me hate comments. Sorting through them is kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. And three, any resemblance to other players' outfits is entirely coincidental. Enjoy the video. This is a meme lord who uses this with a bone white hair dye, eastern opera makeup, and wild rose belt for some reason. Every time. They're typically on galleons and either play with newbies or get carried by hunters call sweats. There's two types of player with this. The one with the full set and the one using only the pants. I am not spending my hard earned gold on the full set, but these people typically hop open crew and leave two minutes after joining. If they're using the pants only, they're shirtless with the gold curse or using a really small shirt like the rib cage or the scrapper's vest or whatnot. This is a shame because the set actually looks good, but Rose players do a wonderful job of overestimating their skills. They also never use the pants, so I'll pick the mercenary ones instead, which inflicts immense pain to my soul. Come on. You're a pacifist with the glow stick curse. That is, until we get attacked. Then you'll go on a rampage, sinking everyone in a one square radius. The amiibo tried to steal your fish. Now they will sink. You don't use a hat, despite it being really cool, and you use the reaper face paint, tuck mask, bell brigade hair, and the gold or pirate legend curse. This makes you look like you're fighting demons or whatever. It's not a face, mom. You're a new player who's unhappy with her outfit, but loves the jacket. I recommend grinding krakens and doubloons for this outfit. Please just make sure to use the pants. I don't have it, and I, like, I only know, white what, one person who has it? I don't know. So I'm using the mercenary stuff. Pretend it's black and green, please. You're either a new player who pre-ordered the game and says people with PvP curses didn't deserve it, a veteran who only plays occasionally, or a diehard, and I mean diehard, fan of the game who hasn't seen grass in years. Despite your lack of showers, if you're the third type, you'll choke all fights solo. These next five stereotypes are ones that just flew over my head while making part one, and they're all interesting. This guy's a toxic PvPer who's playing on alt. There's a 50-50 chance they'll be aimbotting, and there's also a 50-50 chance that confronting them about their behavior will get them to calm down or yell ethnic slurs. Unfortunately, this isn't used by overbearingly friendly players anymore. This is now used by new players who get carried by cheaters or TSDs. They're typically slightly rude too. FYI, I'm not referring to the dark crab set here. I'm referring to the players using just the default ocean crawler jacket, sometimes the belt as well, usually with the DA hat. This is an angry child who somehow has the DA sails, but doesn't have the skill to match. I've never sunk to one of these players, but all of them have accused me of cheating. These kids will never accept that someone else is better than them because they, 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 they just have the sweat sales, though. They, they got the sweat sales. Listen, buddy, there's half a million other sales that make crews soil themselves. This guy despises Krakens and wants them to die. If there's a venomous Kraken on your crew, they will drop anchor and prepare to fight if a giant squid appears. Their job is to eliminate all Krakens, and even though they can't actually do that, I still respect these people for it. The full set was released in between the creation of part 1 and 2 of Outfit Stereotypes, which is why I didn't cover it previously. These people only use the shirt and are a terrifying bilge on Galley. For some weird reason, they're the designated Kenyer and Flex on a sloop. I really don't know. This depends on if they're using the Ashen Curse or not. If they are, they're a crazy helmsman who will two-tap a border from the wheel. If they're not, though, they're even deadlier. They'll be the designated can or border, and if they get on, it's game over. A full team wipe is normal for them. Regardless of what curse they have, watch out for these people. You're the helm and bilge on a sloop who takes care of the boat while your teammate folds everyone. You also hate the Hat of Courage, so you pick the legendary Seafarer one instead. This is one of two people. One, the M1 spammer new player who thinks they're so good at the game when all they do is Reaper run. Two, the spawn camper who somehow has a PvP curse. They don't like TDMs for some strange reason. You are Hitbo TC, the cursed captain. This is always a sweat with a Summer of the Sea of Thieves title. 
You'll typically find this guy on an alliance server because they've kind of given up on the PvP side of the game. They're not toxic, but since they're on an alliance server, everyone else is. You third party hourglass on a larger ship because you know you don't have the skill to get the PvP curses legitimately. Aw, how sad. Mm. If you're using the first crew costume, you're obsessed with taking screenshots of yourself. You also use no curse or an eye curse. If you're using the second crew costume, you're a buff guy with a body curse. This depends on if they're skinny or fat. If they're skinny, they're a 30 year old who hops open crew and can't fight at all. If they're fat, they're a child who runs blunder sword but surprisingly uses block hops. This is your average tryhard Xbox kid. They'll use Emporium weapons too. If you see one of these players, you're probably dead because they already two-tapped you. I always see TDMers use this outfit, but buff male and skinny female pirates are the exception. Those are new players who don't know the stereotype for their costume. Almost the same as before, but I've never, not once, seen a new player use this. These are all TDMers or sweats. I can't. I... I... I I just can't. I I know I said this joke a couple of times before, but this depends on if they're using the ghost curse. If they're not, they're blunder sword with the legendary fear title and the Ashen Dragon ship set, thinking it makes them look scary. Hate to break it to you, pal, but you look like you're completely new to SOT. If they are using the ghost curse, they're trying to get you to believe that they have the skelly curse as well. They don't, but are at the skill level of someone with both curses, so Sin, Sin City wasn't made for ya. You get the idea already. Please, can I stop? You're a solo player who thinks you're just as good as blurbs when you sink to every other boat. You're reluctant to let people join your crew, but eventually cave and drop an invite. You sail on a brig or galley and just do world events. Nothing else. Can't say I blame ya. This is a second type of hunter. See part one of Outfit Stereotypes for context. G'day, I'm Bob the Necromancer, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. These people probably look new to an inexperienced player, but that usually changes once the slow chat guy sets up an impossible spawn trap. Because of this, they get banned a lot. You're a Reaper Hourglass fan who isn't a skeleton yet, so you just use a gold curse. Remember how I talked about Courage Set users perfectly setting up their crewmate to destroy the opponent? Long coat users are the cannoneer. They probably have over level 200 as well. You use no pants and red underwear. This is a solo slooper who can actually fight. They like to do faction champion battles. You complain about M1 spammers, and while it is a problem that there's not enough variety in sword combat, you think everyone who uses a cutlass is a bot. Sword is the easiest weapon to use, yes, but it is the hardest to master. I didn't get this jacket due to a claiming bug, so I'm using a recolor. This can be one of two people. The first is someone who just found the jacket in their clothing chest and thought it looked cool, so they just put it on. The second type is that one player who got the ghost curse a week after season 8 launch. What's grass? All of them use the pirate legend curse, majestic sovereign hat, and the stranger's gloves. I don't, I really don't know why. Thanks to Thor for saving me a ton of money on this video. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. This took me far too long to make as I lost the script twice, I had audio issues, and the clips got sent to Narnia. It's out though, and Skeleton Curse Stereotypes is right around the corner. Gloria's hat is in the game file, see you soon.